I'd like to thank all of you for being out here today. Thank you for coming out for this event. I want to especially highlight our students here from the Sarah Winnemuc Elementary School, and we have members of their green team. And we also had a chance to talk a little bit about what the green team does, and that's, uh, that's a really good thing. The students walked to the canyon from their school to participate in an event to unveil interpretive signs, which mark the completion of the Chalk Creek Man-Made Wetland Project. Hydrologist Linnell Garfield gave the children a short lesson on how the sulfate reducing wetland works to reduce high concentrations of sulfates from lawn fertilizers and other things homeowners in northwest Reno use then end up flowing into the creek. These plants provide homes and nesting materials for all the birds and it also to helps to take up nutrients. Now nutrients are what your parents put on your lawn to grow green grass. So if you think that green grass grows well with fertilizers, don't you think that this kind of plants could grow well too? Yeah. Exactly, so they help pull that stuff out of the water and clean it even more. And then as the water comes through the wetland, it goes through the pipe and downstream and continues on down to the river. So just by you guys knowing about that now, you can tell your families and your friends at school about how you can protect the river better. Don't let stuff run off. Don't throw your soda can into the hole in the side of the curb, right? What about trash? Found it. Found it, so you get the gold star for the day. Sweet. And what if you see somebody that might be doing some lawn mowing and they just wanna throw their lawn clippings off the side into the creek or into the storm drain? Go. What, do, what would you tell them? I'd say, no, throw that in the garbage can. Throw that in the garbage can, very good. I have some magnets for you guys today. We actually have a call-in number. If you see people sweeping things into the storm drains, if you want to call in and let us know, we can go clean it up before it gets to the river. Would any of you like to take these home? Okay, perfect. And you take one and pass it on, and you take one and pass it on. Now, everybody got a bracelet, right? Yeah. yeah. Can anybody yeah. tell me what your bracelet says? I love and protect the Truckee River. Public Works staff secured a grant from the Truckee River Fund to build the pilot wetland in Chalk Creek. JBR Environmental designed and built the project last summer by filling in a dugout area with a dirt mixture where plants have been placed. Washoe County inmate work crews did the planting. A UNR graduate student monitored the wetland to see if bacteria in the soil will convert the high levels of sulfate in the water to hydrogen sulfide gas that will slowly seep out of the wetlands. I monitored for a whole year, so June through to June, and I was able to see a good uh, reduction in sulfate over the summer and then through the fall, and then as we got into like uh, winter time and early spring, not so much, which makes me think that, you know, a little bit temperature dependent. You be on this side. You guys are gonna help lift this up, okay? So one, two, three, up. Okay. Here we go. Becky Ellis, who leads the green team, encourages conservation and other activities that are kind to nature. I wanted them to see a project that's going on in their neighborhood. They hear about a lot of things globally, but this is something in their neighborhood and in Reno, within walking distance of the school, that they can see ways to help uh, get rid of pollution, to keep the planet greener. I learned that do, you cannot, don't pollute. That the Truckee River is a little bit of our drinking water and some people they will put stuff in the water to make the water bad. There's always trash over here and it messes up the earth. That um, that you shouldn't pollute because it's not a really good thing to do. Right I learned that people, they, they throw out trash down the stream and, uh, and it ruins the earth. The Northwest Neighborhood Advisory Board provided a $5,000 community pride grant to help design and build the signs for the project. One of the students out here asked a very good question, why do grown-ups pollute? Hopefully after their lesson today, the students will go home and 
talk to their parents and others who are walking by will see the sign and learn all about Chalk Creek and how it helps to keep fertilizers and other pollutants from getting into the Truckee River. Hopefully they'll start thinking twice about what they do around their homes and think of other ways that they can help prevent pollution to the Truckee River.